In the bitter cold, by the tens of thousands, they took to the streets of Moscow. Some for a Kremlin-orchestrated rally in support of Vladimir Putin. This was a so-called anti-orange protest, a reference to Ukraine's democratic colored revolution, so reviled by the Russian leader. Not far away, the biggest wave of opposition protests since Mr. Putin came to power 12 years ago was back in full swing. We're just angry and uh, that's enough. It, it was too much of forging the elections, it was too much of you know, lie and corruption. The loosely assembled anti-Putin movement encompasses all, from the far left to far right nationalists. Few believe Mr. Putin's path to the presidency can really be blocked, but they're going to try. I don't know whether we'll really achieve some immediate change, but I, I hope that at least one thing happened, people started to think and started to realize that they can do something. No doubt there will be plenty of scrutiny over the size of this rally, as organizers and the Kremlin argue over whether the opposition has maintained its momentum, so evident in the mass rallies held after disputed parliamentary elections in December. The turnout was at least as large as previous demonstrations, but some analysts say for the opposition, keeping the protests going is more important than worrying about how big they are. And this is not even the problem of this rally. Putin has lost Moscow and St. Pete, and he's losing legitimacy and credibility. It has started. The next mass protest is planned for February 26th, one week before the presidential vote. Most of these demonstrators say they'll be back. Norman Hermont, ABC News, Moscow.